In this video, I'm going to get you started with Caddis, a platform we will be using to practice coding and to compete in coding competitions. Caddis is an online coding problem archive that is used worldwide, both within learning institutions and as part of various coding competitions. Locally, it is used to run the Colorado School of Mines high school programming competition. Keep in mind that most problems involve processing data via standard input, and you can use the programming language of your choice. To use Caddis, you first need to sign up using one of the many available methods. Before completing your first problem in Caddis, you'll want to validate your email and update your settings, including your time zone and default programming language. Allow me to demonstrate one way to sign up. Navigate to Caddis and choose the sign on method, in my case, Google. Next, review and allow Caddis to access your account. Then create your account. Next, navigate to your email account and click on the link to validate your account. Now go to your settings. There are a lot of things you can configure here, but we're going to focus on setting the preferred time zone and default programming language settings. Keep in mind, you will still have the opportunity to submit solutions using any program language you want. This is just the default for your account. Caddis hosts coding problems of varying difficulty, and you have the ability to search for those that interest you. Irrespective of the problem you end up choosing, however, the process is the same. You start by clicking on a problem and reading it closely. Once you understand the solution requirements, you download and extract the sample data files for the problem. Then you code a solution in your language of choice and submit it online to Caddis for acceptance. In this example, I'm solving a quadrant selection problem. The page says that my program should take two pieces of input, representing a pair of x, y coordinates. The program I write should take these two values and calculate the quadrant, printing it to standard out. Notice how example inputs and outputs are given. Next, I need to download and extract the sample data files. Personally, I find it helpful to create folders to stay organized when working on Caddis challenges. I'm going to create a folder named Caddis, and then underneath it, a folder for each challenge I attempt. In this case, Quadrant. Next, I copy in the sample files I just downloaded into the problem-specific directory. And then extract them. Most problems have .in and dot ants files, which contain sample input and output, respectively. If you want to write the solution in Java, then your program is going to follow this model. Because your program needs to be able to read from standard input, you will have to import and instantiate a scanner object, and then call its methods to read the data coming into the program. To test your program, you use the Java executable, providing it the name of the compiled class you wrote, and then directing in the contents of an input file using the left angle bracket, otherwise known as the less than sign. If you want to write the solution in Python, then your program is going to follow this model. You will have to import sys and then use standard ins methods to read the data coming into the program. To test your program, you will call the interpreter, providing it the name of the program you wrote, and then directing in the contents of the input file using the left angle bracket. You can write and compile your code in whatever environment you like, but I would recommend testing the programs you write for Caddis on the command line, whether that be Windows or Linux. Start by changing directory until you get to the location of your source code. On Windows, you can use the type command to see the contents of the sample input and output files. On Linux, use cat, C-A-T. Now test your program, directing in the sample input file and see whether it matches the accompanying sample output file. This process is remarkably similar between Python and Java. Make sure you test all the provided sample input and output files. When you feel comfortable with your solution, go back to Caddis and submit 
either by cutting and pasting or by uploading your source code file. In either case, you need to at least specify the language you used. Your code will be tested thoroughly, and if it passes all test cases, it will be accepted.